What's going on guys? It's time for round two against King of American Burgers Guy in this Music Educated Rumble. We ended up beating them back in round one. If you missed that match, go ahead and check it out. The link will be up here in the top right corner on screen or down in the video description. This is once again round number two. If we can beat them again in this match, then we lock in our number one spot for this rumble and continue to hold our championship belt. However, if we lose, we run the risk of losing that number one spot. So this is a high stakes match. So let's jump right on into it. First match is up against two Jones. All right, looks like I have everything I need to set up my student fry combo that I'm so fond of. So let's go ahead and lead with that Tom Landry. We're gonna lead into that combo. They open with the high school bill. That's all right. Student fry can plow right on through that. We're gonna go ahead and jab through those walls and we're gonna cripple it. I'm only gonna be taking that punch damage which I can easily heal up from the battleground effect on educated there. Oh no, the game's freezing. What's going on? There we go. Technical difficulties. All right, they laid out the Nibbler there. I drew my Principal Shepherd, which is pretty good. I can make a Chosen Brain Fry, or I also have the option to make Diorama Gene. Both are really good options there. Question is, do I want to lead with my Gene for the actual Shields of Bing Music, or do I want to go with Principal Shepherd because it's um, the educated one and I can keep both options open? Tough to say. I am going to be one-shotting the high school bill, no problem. So even if they combo the Nibbler, I will be able to combo just fine over here. So you know what? Let's keep both options open in this situation because I don't want to lock myself into one because I have to see if they're going to combo and leave an open slot in the first slot there or if they're going to play another card there. I want to see what's going to happen. All right, they did Heavy Metal Haley. So Gene would have been nice to hijack the, the Motivate there, but that's all right should be able to heal up just fine. Let's go ahead and we are gonna set up the Diorama Gene. He should be able to heal up just fine from the Education buff and he has Punch, so that's gonna be hitting Nibbler pretty hard. With that extra Motivate 2, Student Fry should be able to one-shot Heaven Metal Haley because she's jabbing right on through that. And now it makes the combo with One Man Musical. That's all right, I've already hit it pretty hard. It's only doing 10 damage. I can heal that up from the BGE buff. And I do believe this actually might be game with all the cheers I'm getting. That might be enough. Then again, I might be talking out my butt there. That might not be enough to do 64 damage. We'll see. Either way, I don't think I'm going to be one-shotting the one-man musical there. I don't want to be feeding it with any sorts of motivate. So I'm going to play my highest HP card that doesn't have motivate to expand my wall here. That's going to be my fart school Jimmy Jr. Luckily, it is a music card too, so it is going to be naturally shielded from bombs if one-man musical is able to actually do an attack next turn if I'm not ending it, which actually looks like I'm not ending it. I'm falling just short of that. Two Jones drops another one-man musical for the pre-combo there. Doesn't matter though, he's only doing 12 damage on me there. I can heal all of that up, no problem, because that's only one damage on that card. Because these guys are getting healed up from the, the island buff here, not the island buff, because these two are getting healed up from the educated buff, they're gonna guarantee that Zap's heal goes to fart school. Even if it didn't though, that's close enough to full HP. I'm gonna expand my health pool all the way over here with one more high HP card. Pretty sure that's a guaranteed 100 there. Round number two is up against BBBB app. Let's go ahead and lead with, look at that, I can already make Student Fry right out the gate again. Let's go ahead and do that because it's been working great for me. They play the stand. Uh, my spidey sense is tingling. I feel like they're gonna be going for that, that um, clarinet stand. Student Fry has been able to overtake it so far this rumble, so let's not let it fail me now. All right, it actually didn't go for the clarinet. I'm actually happy about that because I wouldn't want to have to try to fight that to heal on up. So I will be dropping their stand next turn because Fry is going to be plowing right through that. Here's the question now. Do I want to do fart school with the music shields that'll block Gene or I can play my Gene here and hope I get the educated draw? I think I'm going to do Gene. He still has music shields and if I miss the draw, I can make a one man musical for the leech. So let's go ahead and set that up. Hoping I get that educated draw though because I'm digging these free heals. Give me a good cripple, thank you. All right, they played Whiskey Bartender, so their gene still can't attack. My student fry can be plowing through that whiskey, no problem. There is an educated card, so that's not a bad thing to have here. Unfortunately, that is not the combo I wanted, so we are gonna hold on to that Tom Landry. I'm gonna go ahead and instead play 
Let's go ahead and lead my fry over here. I might be setting up another student fry, but I do want to keep the Tom Landry card in case I do need to set up some sort of combo with Gene to make him educated. I want to keep that option alive. So we're going to play fry first. I'm going to do a good chunk of damage on that whiskey bartender. I'm going to do a good chunk on the Eugene. Or not that good. I forgot it shielded. Doing a little bit of a chunk. And it is gassed, which is nice. I did, I think, miss the cripple there, though, on the Gene. So my Gene is taking a hit this time, unfortunately. So he will be gassed. Let's see here. They played another whiskey. I am going to want to go ahead and make another student fry here to jab on through that one. It's another round of cripple, so I can try to mitigate some of the damage here. And I think this will go at least one more turn so I can educate Gene up to get some free heals next turn as well. Give me a, a cripple on Gene, please. Ah, no such love. So I am going to want to educate Gene up, because if I don't, I'm going to be taking direct damage next turn, because this is definitely over. Actually, hold up. Hold the phone. Do I want to educate him? Or there's 19 leech if I do this one, which is really good. Question is, is that more that I would heal than if I were to do the free heals from Tom Landry is the question. Also, would this end the match here? Mm, student Fry in the open slot over there, or slot number three actually might be ending the match between doing that, so I think doing the one-man musical for that for that leech damage might be better. One second, I'm gonna try to try to crunch some numbers here and figure that out of which would give me more HP back here. Alright, so looking at it, making the musical one here, 19 leech is going to be quite a bit more than if I did the educated for the free heal. So we're going to go ahead and do the leeches here on that. Alright, we held out for one more turn there. Unfortunately, they made their one man musical, so that's going to probably be breaking my shields here, unfortunately. Of course, the Stewie hit that one, too. My student fry in slot one is ending it, so I am pretty heavily damaged. That pretty much locked out any chance of it being 100. I can still maximize score, though, by doing my highest HP card in the open slot here on the end. I think both student fries are going to get a good heal from the, the buff here, so hopefully Zap will heal up one man musical a bit as well. So highest HP card, high school build, end it out. Next match is up against Tech Geek. All right, I have options here to create my student fry and my diorama gene. The one, two wonder twins there. One, two combo. God damn, what is up with the connection tonight? All right, Tech Geek plays that vending school. I do believe comboing my student fry should be more than enough to one shot that thing into oblivion with that free cheer buff. Got that jab, which I don't even need. It's an educated card, it's not shielded, but whatever, I'll take the one shot. Let's go ahead now, and I am going to want to set up some support here. So let's go ahead and do my Principal Shepherd for that Bodyguard. And we will be doing the Diorama Gene next. They play the Bender instead of comboing Bob. Much obliged. Should be able to take that out no problem now when I get that Diorama Gene set up for that punch. So let's go ahead and set that bad boy up going to motivate Student Fry so that come next turn he can one-shot pretty much anything for me. They got the Mr. Frond, that's alright. Pretty sure I'm going to one-shot that. Even if I don't, it is over here and everybody should be healed up. But just in case, we're going to play the highest HP card to be safe. So we'll throw out a Brian statue just for some more motivate because, just because, it's a fun card to play. Next match is up against Sailor JPK. Let's see if we can sink his ship. Look at that. RNG Jesus is shining brightly on me in this rematch here. It's giving me the one-two combos that I just love to have with this deck. Let's go ahead and set up my student fry in slot one. Pretty much, if it, if it isn't broken, why fix it? Let's just keep doing this same strategy. So let's set up that student fry for that cripple so Meat Man can't do shit. And I'm going to be hitting it pretty hard this turn, so come next turn, I should be able to drop it. They play the Brian statue. Sucks that it's getting motivated there, but that's alright. Like I said, we're going to be dropping it. Drew a high school bill here, so... I think what I'm actually going to want to do, because the Brian statue is a pre-combo, they can't combo it to make it any stronger. 
instead of setting up my gene combo here, I might want to instead do the high school bill. It's because it has wall, so it'll be blocking a good chunk of the Brian statue's damage against me and healing up, and it'll be crazy. Because doing my gene combo is nice, it has a lot of punch and heal, and the motivate to student fry is also really nice, but the problem is is that the punch is kind of wasted when Brian statue has that um that bodyguard. I'd rather give a card a chance to start crazing. So let's put my high school bill pre-combo. It's a pretty good buffer to play against their Brian statue. Kind of a wasted cripple there, but whatever. They played a nibbler, so they might be trying to set up a one-man musical on me there. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna probably set up my own healing combo now with Gene. I'm gonna lead Gene over the item though, because he is a music card, so he will be shielded, and it's a bit of motivate to my high school bill. So Bill's punches are being completely negated by the bodyguard. That's not important right now. What is important is I got some craze building. And there's the combo. They went for a pan flute. So that's going to be damn near unkillable. At least it's not doing too much damage on me. The bombs is what's hurting me the most. But hey, I have a healer card here and I can actually set up another one later. So I believe this one makes the stronger healer. 20 versus what does Mr. Fron give me? They both give me 20 which does less attack damage, so I might want to stretch this out a bit more. Let's do Mr. Frond. So it's more motivate to the high school bill, as soon as the connection's done lagging again. All right, so like I was saying, more motivate to high school bill, and I got some more heals there. If I could drop that pamphlet Stewie too, that would be pretty good, because those bombs are what are really hurting me right now. Give me a good cripple on pamphlet. Thank you. Give me a punch on Brian. Drop Brian. Uh, it wasn't enough to drop him, but at least I got the punch. Mm, I don't think I'll actually have an opportunity to set up another healer with the diorama, but I can try. Let's take a look here. Looking at where the HP and everything is, I actually am doing way too much damage here. Actually, I might be able to make this work, because looking at this, Brian's statue is falling. They're going to have to fill that hole. You know what, no, I'm just spinning my wheels here. I forgot there is a cheer being added to this from the educated. That actually might set it over the edge to end this this turn. Let's not take any risks. Highest HP card, Brian statue on the field here, just in case it is over right here. If it does end here, then I'm gonna be sad because that means I'm not gonna get the heal from Diorama Gene. Good cripple from Student Fry. All right, I am gonna get that heal, which is nice. So Meat Man is not going to be hitting me too hard. Everybody's looking like they're pretty high up in HP. Diorama should be able to heal most or all of that back when I um, have my free heal next turn. So once again, I'm going to play my highest HP card out on the field, which just happens to be my Gene over here. That should be 100. We're going to, like I said, we're going to sink this sailor ship. We're dropping the Kingdom's Navy. All right, next up is up against BBB App again. Only person so far to not give me a hundred. Slightly salty about that. Already ruined my potential thousand. How am I gonna punish you for that? You can make Sex Ed or Chosen Brain Fry. Let's go ahead and lead with the Principal Shepherd because it will be hitting harder. You lay out the meat, man. You got the meat. Well, let's see if I can beat your meat. Ooh, I do have the Student Fry, which I am so very fond of there. So. Let me go ahead and do my... I like the sex ed teacher for that cripple all, and it will help drop the Meat Man Sculptor a lot quicker, so I'm thinking that's the way I want to take that. That being said, if I leave Principal Shepherd alone, that's a pre-combo. They can't combo on me, which is really nice. I will be getting my heals back up pretty freely, so you know what? Let's leave that alone for now. Instead, I'm going to do my Tom Landry in the open slot, because the sex ed teacher will be motivating that next turn to cause some major damage. They dropped the high school bill, so they're doing a pre-combo. That's all right. So instead of um, my initial plan there, that's, like I said, that's getting its free heal. I would rather hold off on that. Maybe do the student fry for the jab and the cripple. Not a bad way to go, because the jab's going to be cutting through the high school bill relatively quick as well. Not a bad plan of attack on that. Let me think this through, because the 10 Cripple Alls, nothing to scoff at either. You know what, let's do the 10 Cripple All to mitigate damage, because I can always get my HP back. Actually, wait, glad I thought about that before I played that. There's only 39 HP on that Tom Landry, depending on where punches go, 
that could wreck me bad with the um with what it's gonna be doing. One second, I wanna think about every possible avenue on this. All right, the cripple wall would be nice, but I'm gonna commit to the fry because I do like that. Just one cripple on him and the jab to break through the high school bill. It does give me a health boost on Principal Shepard, and I maintain that bodyguard to block some of that punch from high school bill. So we're gonna stick with that. Got a good cripple there. They drop a whiskey bartender, so they're playing the whole pre-combo wall on me. That's all right. All of these are pretty low hitting um, attack wise, so I'm pretty sure if I stick to my, my educated guns here, I can counter these pretty well. Ooh, that whiskey bartender only has 10 attack, so it can't do jack. His hero does not do anything that grants any sort of attack buff to any cards. It only shields, heals, and adds bodyguard, so I'm actually free to go ahead and set up my sex ed teacher now because it has 10 cripple all that guarantees that the whiskey bartender cannot attack me so we're going to go ahead and do that get some more heals motivate student fry up both these slots are going to be falling now so i'm opening holes in the wall look at that plays another whiskey bartender no big deal i got 10 cripple all neither of those can do me any harm and on top of that I believe I can end it right here. We're gonna go ahead and use my Brian statue. It's my highest HP card and it's got motivate. This should be an instant hundred because of that move. So thank you, bu -bu -bup. your pre-combo wall worked for me this time. Next match is up against Kadada Don Jones. And will you look at that? I can make my student fry. Let's go ahead and set that up. I do have some options there too to create the Chosen Brain Fry as well to get a healer if I need it. But first things first, let's go ahead and jab through this music video Stewie and also cripple him while we at it. Let's break this baby's legs. What's easier than stealing candy from a baby? Breaking its legs. So he played the Mythic Bob on me. He's probably going for that hip hop bob. That would be devastating. So I'm gonna go ahead and lead with my Mr. Fron for that high HP. Hoping he doesn't hip hop me. If he does, I hope I draw a gene to counter that. Drop the music video. All oh, right, they didn't make the combo. That worked out fine. Because they didn't make the combo, I will combo now if I don't get it. But I did. That's beautiful. Hello, RN Jesus. Thank you very much. So, Diorama Gene, gonna motivate it. Student Fry should be able to one shot K pop. Guarantees the punches to hit Bob. I do believe I can one shot that Bob too. All right, they drop a gene, but no big deal. I can one-shot that, no problem. And I do believe I can probably end it, maybe this turn with some Motivate. I don't know. We're going to play highest HP card. Just happens to be Brian's statue has Motivate. Either way, though, I'm feeling pretty confident this is going to be another 100. Next up, we got two Jones. Let's go ahead, and it looks like I unfortunately missed my draw for the um, my fry combo. That's okay. I can still make a diorama gene or the chosen brain. Let's lead with the principal shepherd and see how we want to play that. They play the gene. I'm going to go ahead and make my diorama gene because I'm pretty sure that will one-shot his regular gene. Yeah, fun fact that I learned from playing these matches, regular Gene, when you have all these punches, doesn't hold out so well, even with the music shields. That's why I took him out of my defense deck entirely. And will you look at that, I finally got the Tom Landry, I just happened to get it a little bit late. That being said though, I usually like to have the, the combo set up in the first slot. For the second slot here, I might want to go Mr. Frond instead. That way, I can potentially draw another Gene to motivate this one up. To do another diorama. Hopefully I can draw another gene for that diorama, get a good heal wall set up. Nope, missed it, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up a Chosen Brain Fry instead, because it does have the payback and the leech. If I get a good punch from diorama, I can drop both slots, and there's the punch I needed. Goodbye. I have full control of the board now. I don't think I'm gonna drop the Nibbler, unfortunately, right here, but like I said, I have pretty full control here, so I'm gonna start playing highest HP cards on the field to expand. I don't feel like I need much more of anything out here. I have my healers, I have a good card wall. It's all about expanding it now.
All right, and it is over this turn, so once again, highest HP card. Should get healed all the way back up to full, though. This is going to be another 100. Maybe not. Got a little bit of damage on Gene there. That's a little scary. All right, next up is up against B-Side. We're going to be hitting the B-Side of KOABG here, flipping that record. Let's go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and just make my Diorama Gene. Got two of them in the hand here, so we can set up a nice little kill chain. So let's make that combo right now. Get those punches flying. Courtney's dad is making an appearance here. Little guest star on the KOABG show. I'm going to still probably want to set up my wall there. So let's go ahead and lead with... I feel like leading with dire, uh, leading with Jean's not a bad way to go for the music shields. Uh, yeah, whatever they come with Courtney's dad, I'm fairly certain, since I'm dropping the Motivate on the Heavy Metal Haley there, I don't think it'll be able to one-shot me, so let's lead Jean. Take advantage of that BGE shield. Good punch. There goes the Heavy Metal. Oh, wow, they did not go for the combo. Well, that's going to bite them in the ass a little bit because that gives me plenty of time to combo up here and get my punching heel train set up. When you look at that, I drew another gene. If I can manage to get all three diorama genes on the field right now, that would be amazing. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, though. Let's go ahead and set up this one first. So they're both at full HP. Going to get those punches to burn the shields. Hopefully first punch hits gene in slot one. I missed it. All right, at least I killed that gene there. And I still took them both out, so it worked out. It might be over here. I I really want to try to get all three out, so instead of playing my gene first or that motivate, let's do Mr. Frond. If I can get all three out on the field, that's going to be the video thumbnail. I want to see it. <laughs> ah, I missed it. Next match is up against Ran Stimpy. Let's go ahead and make... Unfortunately, I don't have that fries, but I do have the Mr. Fron, so we're going to probably be making that Diorama Gene. I'm going to go ahead and lead with the... Let's lead with Gene. Why not? He's shielded, and I might get a better item. They played a Gene of their own. Well, we're definitely going Diorama because I can one-shot that thing. So let's get that going. Goodbye, Gene. They play another Gene. They're just making this way too easy with these one-shots. Let's go ahead and set up... I kind of don't want to feed anything with Motivate there with the Brian statue, but at the same time, it's my highest HP and I'm one-shotting it anyways, so... Ah, uh, you know what, let's do my Tom Landry. I am still one-shotting it and this gives me more of a direct attack next turn because I'm getting that Motivate on it because it's educated and it's going to get sheared next turn, so more likely to one-shot him into Oblivion. They drop the Earl's guitar. And there's my fry. I could not have asked for a better draw to go with that Tom Landry. That being said, is there any point to doing it? Like, it's not going to end the match this turn. I mean, the cripple is nice because I'm not going to be one-shotting the diorama. Screw it, let's get that cripple. Why not? It's always fun to break some legs. They drop the K-pop. No big deal. I'm going to probably be dropping that Earl's Guitars now. And I have that student fry to jab right on through the K-pops. Um, shields it'll have. Now will be an excellent time for that Brian Statue's Motivate to set Student Fry over the edge so I can one-shot that K-pop Peter. This is looking like it's definitely gonna be a hundred. So I missed the punch but got a good cripple. Still no um, combo on the Earl's Guitars there, so they're just making it way too easy on me with that AI. This is gonna be my win right here for that hundred, especially if I do another Brian Statue there to expand the health pool. That would be the Motivate and the Direct Attack to get the win, but Student Fry there can jab right on through Nibbler. Diorama Jean's hitting like a truck. Either way, shots are getting fired. It's like a cannon going off. Explosions everywhere. That's gonna be my hundred. All right, and last match is up against Orpheus 1 again. I get to fight the predecessor one more time. When last we met Orpheus, I was but the learner. Now I am the master. Let's go ahead and set up my Diorama Gene. Open with a bending school. Gene would have been the smarter opener for the shields, but I got, got a little too excited there because I saw who I was playing, so it's whatever. Um, 
I might want to leave Bending School alone though, because it has the jab to break through the walls here, and it can hijack the first round of craze from that Bending School grad. That is a pre-combo, so it's not going anywhere. I'm liking that route, because doing the Diorama Gene now will fall short of one-shotting that. So you know what? Let's go ahead and leave that alone. It doesn't need anything right now. Instead, let's go ahead and set up my... Let's go ahead and set up High School Bill, and then we'll get the Motivate set up on him next turn. As soon as Kong allows it. They play another Bending School grad. That's a little scary because that will be hijacking my Motivate and everything now. That put a little little damper in my plan, but I'm forced to combo now because I can't afford to lose my cards here. So let's get that diorama made. It's going to suck, but at least my healer is in slot one, and I got a lot of punches I'm throwing out on the field here, so that's working out for me. I just need to drop slot one. There goes slot one. Got a good punch there, so... I'm going to be taking a pretty hefty hit here, but I got time to heal up. And I believe if I get super lucky, I can drop that slot to this next turn. Hopefully. Let's go ahead and set up my... Let's do my Fart School Jimmy Jr. It's high HP, it's shielded for being music, and it is a healer, so it's more health on the field there to heal on up. Hopefully, though, I get a good punch here on Bending School Grad from one of these guys. Preferably Diorama. I need to drop him. I uh, missed that one, but I get that punch at least. It's still hanging on though, so I'm still taking hits. It's okay though, like I said, I have the healer here. I have my healers. Took a massive hit there, almost really would have wished it would have one-shotted me perfectly, but hey, them's the breaks. At least my heals are all guaranteed to hit high school Bill here, so... I do believe I am dropping Bending School Grad, no problem. So let's just keep throwing out my highest HP cards on the field to expand the health wall. This might even be able to go another turn after this, so I'm going to just keep healing up, keep expanding, and try to fight back to get that 100. Had a bit of a rocky start there, but I think we can come back. Alright, good punches. Got that heal. Next turn, I should be healing up just fine. Super Dance Squad's annoying that how much it's going to be hitting me with, but I think I should be fine with how much HP I have on the field, and I am going to be healing that high school bill all the way up there. So highest HP card to expand this. My Eugene Belcher on the field here. Hopefully that's enough. We'll see. It might be a 99, to be honest, because Diorama Jeans hurt pretty bad. We'll see, though. Hopefully Fry, or er, not Fry, Zap fills up Diorama Gene. All right, Zap, my man. And that's going to do it for all 10 of my hits against King of American Burgers Guy in round 2 in this Rumble match. The score currently stands 17,939 us to their 21,594. There is still just about 10 hours left on the match though, so this can still be anyone's game. We'll be checking back in just a moment to see the final results. Alright, just under 15 seconds left on the clock. Scoreboard shows us as barely in the lead. We have 200 points more than them. Will it hold? This is the moment of truth. And we did it, guys. We beat them once again in the rematch, which secured our top spot. We are still the reigning Rumble Champions. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to click that like button. And if you're new to the channel or haven't already, please click that subscribe button. And be sure to click that little bell icon so you get notified of new uploads as soon as they go live. Thanks again, guys. Till next time. Peace.